Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am here, Gizzle Logic, making a finally another episode of Minecraft. I feel like I haven't recorded in forever. So now I am back to make another video on the 1.16 survival series because I know some of you guys missed it. So here it is. First things first, we do have like, if you didn't watch the last episode, you, you need to watch it because that is how we made everything here, kind of, and that room over there. But if you guys have already watched it, basically we have this nice little this nice little armor stand thing i i do i do like it a lot i think it looks super nice and i traded with this villager right over here quite a bit so he is an apprentice now so he can lock his trades but the reason why i have all of this here is because i actually want to move the villagers in to this room now this room is not done yet i still need to decorate a little bit more i want to add some barrels down here and some holes in the wall to make it look a little bit nicer add some more detail but i do want to add some of the villagers i don't even know why i made it go second floor when there's literally a first floor right here where they can go in i didn't think about that i didn't think about that but we do have right here some stuff i did organize the chest a little bit more i do have some more stuff let's just use this basalt that we have and i need to go to the villagers i don't exactly know how this is gonna work i don't exactly know how this is gonna work because i don't know if i, I think their trades are locked I don't know how long they're locked for, if that's even a thing. So I'm going to place a cart right there and then have that there. We're going to block this off because I don't want the villagers leaving. So right here we have, oh, okay. Come on. Okay, why are you guys scared? Why, they both look terrified. So I'm going to put you right here. You are a master. You both are masters. So you go over there. Go. Mm, this is going to be annoying. This is going to be very, oh my God. They need to make a, a way so you can move villagers super easily. Like with like with animals, you give them wheat and they'll move. Villagers should be emeralds and they move. That's literally how it should be. Oh, this guy's awful. They, these these this guy is really terrible. This guy's awful right here. There we go. Finally. Okay, now you just move a little by little. You're just gonna move, and we're gonna hopefully get you over there. Make it, make it, make it. Okay, there you go. Okay, okay, okay okay now you got there and then you're gonna go all the way up there you're gonna go and then you're gonna all oh, that work perfectly now i don't know if the toolsmith master i don't know exactly no we have over here what the toolsmith is toolsmith is the smithing table i'm glad i wrote it down literally right here i wrote all of the things down very nice but we have them right here and we're gonna do that with all the villagers i just need to find what the smithing table is i kind of forgot what they all look like but i think that's a blast furnace so this must be a smithing table how do we break okay axe there we go smithing table right there perfect so hopefully he still has his trades i'm pretty sure he will yes he does does he yeah he does does he i'm pretty sure okay yes he does so then i'm gonna push him in here and then we're just gonna add a block in the front of him there we go it works perfectly fine now i just destroyed it what oh this is all oh, this this sucks this sucks so much just go on one of them please yes that sounds awful but he is trapped he is literally trapped in there he can't get out we have one done now we need like four more to go so i am going <laughs> to speed this up a little bit because this is going to be a very tedious job and i'll be back once i can get all of these villagers out he's been in the same corner forever there we go another one down we are doing very very good now we just need two okay we got those two very nice i think we need two more two more that we actually have right there that we need one there and one there yep perfect there we go all of them are now complete which means we could destroy all of this and now we have everybody kind of good i think i think that's good there i don't know if i want to maybe move them back one more but i think for now he's good with his trades and he's good everybody has their trades for one or two emeralds this is a very i might want to get some more swords do i have any swords do i actually have any i need to check if i have swords because i might just use my emeralds for them swords we actually only have nine swords okay no six swords what okay we only have six swords i think we should get a few more so what i'm gonna do is just get three more just because why not i mean we have enough emeralds to buy anything we want so yeah the, okay this is looking very nice with these villagers up here uh uh not you i actually actually i wanted 
two. Oh, we only have three anyways. I wanted to move away from this room, which is kind of annoying because I wanted to get it done. But there's something I really want to get done this episode. So I will get it done. We don't have any axes either. But maybe once I get Hero of the Village, I could get some more diamond axes because we only have three. So I think we should get a little bit more of that. But I get to drop. But I do want to get this room done kind of mostly done at least where is my stone brick i only have two here i don't know where all my stone brick went i do have a lot of stone but i think i have some stone brick already crafted okay i have a lot of stairs i have a lot of stairs okay that's pretty much all i have is stairs but what i'm gonna do is sort of make this little pathway look a little bit cooler so let me just get some of this and i'm thinking of making like a little archway so it'll look something like this on both sides. Okay, I need you to get out of the way. Two there, and then just some stairs, and then we can add some slabs there, I think would look good. And then that's a big space in the middle, maybe two slabs. And then from here, we could just add the rest of the stairs like this. So we have a little dip in the middle, something like this I think would look pretty cool. And we could just walk through it like that. That's pretty nice. If anything, we can change the stairs and make it so this one faces this direction. And this one faces this direction and see how that looks. That might look pretty cool. Something like this, maybe. I'm not sure. I might keep it like this just because there's a less hole to fall into. But I think this something like this I want for some more details at it. I think this looks nice right here. This is a very nice like sort of archway and it gives the floor some more detail. So I'm just going to do that with every single one of these. This the same thing. I don't think I'm going to change it at all and then just have some more slabs all over the place and some stairs. Boom. And then the stairs run along this way and then the other stairs run along this way. Boom. Another archway is done. I don't know what I'm going to be doing in this area right here. It's quite empty. I might. I mean, I need to add some like. I don't know like a chandelier a nice like lantern would look really nice up there so that's something i needed to do there we go it is all done now it still looks like it's missing something i'm not too sure what it is but i'm thinking maybe if we go up here and just change this into some stairs to give us some more definition something like that i think could look nice i'm not sure how i feel about it i'm not exactly sure how i feel about it i'm gonna do it to most of these on this side and then i will see how i like it let me know what you guys think about this section right here i don't know i don't know how i like it i'm gonna change this last one maybe right here and then i will just have half of it without it like that and half of it with it like this I think I'm I don't know this has some more some more style so I do like how this one looks but I'll leave it there and see what grows on me a little more but we do not need to use any of this right now we do have our shulker boxes still that I will keep right there but we do need to finish this which is what I've been trying to do and it is just these little outlines right here nothing too much I want to show you guys what I'm doing. This is something I would usually do off camera, but I'm going to do it on camera to switch it up a little bit. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Come on. There we go. So it's going to look like that through every single layer. And I think it'll look very, very nice. Second one is done. Third one is done. Fourth, fifth and sixth. All of them are done. I think it looks really, really nice. Now, I did change all of it into spruce wood. It used to be the, but I don't know what the wood was called. But when you, when the strip spruce wood, I think that's what it's called. It used to all be stripped, but I don't think I like it as much as the regular spruce wood because it gives it more contrast. So I think I'm going to keep regular spruce wood in it for now. What I need to do is what do we have in our book and quill? We have make a portal chest room and mount in the mountain base. So we need to do that yet. We haven't done it. So we have that and then we have we're just gonna forget about that one and then we have that's pretty much it just number two I did all of them in the previous episodes so I just needed to update that a little bit more I don't know what else I need to write here 
few things I want to do is I want to change this little area up. I think will look really nice. And the pillager outpost, I don't know how I'm going to be able to change it because they keep spawning over there. But I want to make it so like there's a border. So you can't really cross that border or else you're going to be in their territory. I think that would be pretty cool. We have this ugly tree right there. But that's not the main thing I wanted to get to. It is an awesome, awesome llama pen. We don't have any llamas, but we will we will get some. What I do need, though, is a lot of that stripped wood. I don't know what I did with it, but I do need quite a bit of that. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Like this area right here, it does have some stripped logs. I don't know if I want to turn them into regular spruce or keep them stripped. It is such a hard decision, but I will be playing around with that. There's, I have a chicken farm going on. Literally, I have three chickens. And every time they lay an egg, I just throw it. And I don't know why, but I have a bunch of chicken now. I'm going to fly back to my other base, get some wood so we can get started on that awesome project. Here are my stripped logs. I did farm a lot of dark oak wood off camera. Well, not a lot. I, I, I farmed quite a bit of dark oak wood off camera, as you guys can see. But I do have a few things that I need to do once it becomes daytime. So I'm going to sleep, get that done before we get started since I needed to trade sticks with the villager, I did make a little bamboo farm. And by that, I mean, I just put bamboo everywhere because I didn't know how to make a bamboo farm. So I just placed it everywhere. Hopefully it has grown a little bit. We do have some phantom membranes right there. Uh, oh, we have a few chickens there, but we have, uh, okay, okay, stop. Don't, don't you dare try to shoot me. We have quite a bit of bamboo everywhere. And I think it looks very, very cool. What we need to do now is destroy our sword by getting all of this bamboo so let me just cut through this really quick maybe i'll just do the bottom layer so i can regrow i think that would be a better idea yeah i need to replace these now because i definitely don't want i want to have infinite supply of bamboo so i'm going to keep this bottom layer just so that if i need some more some more sticks to trade with the villagers i will trade them but most of it will be just cut off can't move i'm stuck in here i don't think we need <laughs> we need much more than what we have already gosh trying to get through this is impossible i literally can't even get out it's, it's like a maze this would be so annoying if i couldn't break it i wouldn't be able to get out ever oh my gosh i'm just trying to get bad omen really quickly so i could get better villager trades i don't have any rockets oh my gosh there he is, 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 there he is. Okay, okay. Run, run, run. Place a flag down and run. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Run, 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 run. Finally, it is done. Now I can finally, finally, finally trade. Oh, I don't have any fireworks. And there's a creeper right there. Let me just get this really quickly. And we're out of here. I did add some stone cutters right there. I think that's what they're called, stone cutters. But I did add them right there. So hopefully it looks a little bit nicer some more detail like i always say some more detail but for now we have all of our sticks converted we have the hero of the village so i, I think i can get some more axes now actually yep axe is one emerald which is great so i think if i just do this i can trade them all there we go 16 emeralds and now with this i can buy some more axes now we have three more i don't think i want any more swords should i i don't what else do i need <laughs> what else should i buy should i buy this set of armor do i need to projectile protection is very bad so i don't think i want it but this is actually a good shovel this is actually a really good shovel. I, i'll take it i'll take it again i don't need them breaking one pickaxes though i don't need pickaxes in general i have enough I'm just gonna get some more swords. I don't know. I'm just wasting all of my emeralds on everything. Because why not? We have infinite emeralds. We get so much emeralds so quickly that it is just so easy now. I love it. I love it. I love it. Best thing I could have made was that that farm, the pillager farm. Now that we have all of our axes, let's just place them right here. Perfect amount. And we have some leftover shovels looks very good i will take some of this because i do need it still i'll take some lanterns i didn't make a lot of lanterns so we have all of that now we are ready i think the base is coming along very nicely i still need some more decorations over here don't know what i'm gonna do there this is going to be hopefully a chest room 
If I have enough space, I don't know if this mountain cuts off a lot, but hopefully a chest room in there, and then I'll have a bridge over here to over there where I could probably add another portal and it'll be really cool, really awesome. But I want to start this farm because I want it to look really nice from the outside. But for that, we're going to need to go up top on the mountain. And I realize it's nighttime, so there's probably going to be things that spawn here. But either way, oh, I need some dirt. I want to make the base, not the base, the farm around here. So it is this whole cliffside is the farm. And I think that'll look really, really nice. I just want to patch this hole up. I didn't know what I was going to do originally with this hole, but I'm going to patch it up and probably maybe add something underneath there just because it is an empty space and I want to fill everything. So I might make something with that hole later, but if we just fill everything into one kind of layer here, I think it would look very nice. Ooh, this is not a good sign. Okay, this is the end of it. So I would most likely need to finish my stuff around here. That would be very good. Now we could just clear this little area up and oh this might be bad because i might be able to hear the animals so this i'm just gonna cover all of it up in case it helps a little bit but i don't want to really hear the animals from my base so that might be a problem that i need to fix later but i think right here is the perfect spot to make like a farm for all the animals so right here it does end so i'm just gonna finish that up right here but this area right here is what I want to make the actual base out of. Now, it's just going to be a little tiny base with some llamas. Now, we don't have any llamas, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find some pretty easily. You think I could hit the pig? You think I could hit the pig? Nope, didn't hit him. Probably right along here and here. I didn't know you could put a fence with the snow. That's actually really cool. Wait, is that a glitch? I think I glitched it. Either way, that is very cool. Next, I want to just add maybe some slabs on top of it. Like this, something just pretty small for the animals. And then we'll just add some more slabs above that. And then we'll just make a roof out of those slabs. Because I think it'll look pretty cool. Oh, that's the wrong, wrong side. Here we go. One right there and one final one maybe right here i might just add another um it is looking kind of small so what i will do is make one more set just at the top even though there's grass over it, it'll give that sort of it'll look like it is bigger than it actually is now I'm actually no, I'm going to clear the inside because I do want them to have their own little space. So I'm going to clear this inside part and maybe up to here, maybe up to there. And then what we'll do over here. Oh, this is like really close to the base. This is really close. Well, hopefully it won't be that loud, but I want to add some of this right there. I think that'll look really, really nice. And then I think I OK, I can't do that there. So let's just keep that should we keep that dirt there i don't know if it looks nice or not i mean it definitely doesn't look nice but i don't know if we should keep it or not just a lantern in there maybe then the floor should the floor all just be grass because i think llamas would like that a little bit more so what i will do is maybe add some stripped oak along this area but if i do this right there now it looks pretty nice some more nice decorations right along here. Maybe it's too much of these logs. And I don't have any stone brick. So hopefully I could just make this out of stone brick to match both sides. I do want to add a carpet right here, but I do not have any wool right now. So what I'm going to do is start on the wall. And the main part of the wall is literally just going to be adding some logs everywhere i don't know exactly where but maybe just adding okay that already doesn't look good some logs around the edge like this and then we'll just spread them out evenly hopefully it'll look nice once i add the finishing touches here 
I think this is how I want the wall to look. Something like this. So it's just a nice little border around the entire area for the llamas. Now, I want to add some more stuff to it, like some slabs and some stairs, I think would actually. Maybe some stairs? I don't know. Just some slabs along the edges. Some of them. Oh, we don't have any more slabs. Some more around here. And let's just finally finish it with this right there. Then we'll grab our fence posts and then do the same thing with our fence post along the edge. I think it looks pretty nice just like this. Now, it is not mob proof. Mobs can definitely climb inside. But what I want to do is like this top area, like everybody could just come down inside there. But the main purpose is for the llamas not to get out. Now, I will add a lot more things up here. Like I will make this a lot safer. And as time goes on, I'm going to build some more structures up here. I don't know yet. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But for now, I I want to keep this there and maybe make a little separate base or like a watchtower or something where you can go inside here because it's already kind of cleared out a little bit. So maybe another base in here would look really, really cool. But let me know if you guys have any ideas. This is how it's going to look so far. What I need to do is add the finishing touches, which would be some hay bales, some water, and I believe I would need some some carpet. So I'm going to get all that and then I'll show you guys how all of that looks. I just noticed that this does not look nice right there. So I'm going to add a nice layer outside of all of this wood, a nice little border that I'm, I'm going to decorate with flowers and all that, but it needs to grow. So all of this needs to turn into grass before I could do anything. But I think adding something like this would look really nice and it gives it some more depth. It is looking very nice. I did make some more adjustments to the actual mountain to make it look a little bit nicer. But we do have some carpet that I will add right there. I had blue. It was the first thing I found. So I think it would actually look good right here. I'll just keep something like that. I think would look pretty cool. And then maybe in these areas where the fences are i can add some lanterns around not all of them but some of them maybe most of them because they are spread out quite evenly oh too much water too much water there we go something like that i think would look really cool so it's just like a little area where they could drink their water and they are pretty what is this why is there dirt here i didn't i don't want this dirt here there we go now that is basically how it is going to look like I said, what I will do next episode is add some flowers in this general area. Yep, yeah, something like that. I'll add some flowers around here to make it look really, really cool. And I need to get some llamas. I will get llamas today, but I need leads. And I don't think I have any over here. So that's going to be really annoying. Let me see if I can find some llamas real quick around here. And if I can't, then it'll be next episode okay there's llamas right there but there's a creeper too and it is scary it is very scary we have hero the village for 13 more minutes which is pretty good but i did find some llama now this is going to be real annoying but i'm going to get some leads and get these llamas bring them back to the base because this video is getting very long now the base is right over there so all we gotta do is cross this it's not that hard but it's going to take quite a bit i think i only need i'm gonna probably get one of each color and then leave two here just in case but I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Are you guys still around? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Let me just get you. Let me get you. And okay, there's these three colors. There, that one looks. Wait, are these the same? I don't know. This one looks more grayish than that one. Are they the same? Am I just I don't know. I don't know. Either way, we'll just get you because you guys are all pretty different. You look a little whiter than this one, but I already got you on a lead, so I'll get these three. Are they are they traveling in a pack? What's happening? Wait. They actually What? What what? Oh, that scared me. That that scared me. Okay, just don't just mind your Okay, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> We're just gonna go here and go all the way to our base. We're almost at the base and we have all of the llamas, which is pretty cool. I only needed three leads for all of them. But Yep, they all follow me and now we just go through here and that means we don't really need to breed them anymore because we have every single one we just get that white one in there and put them all there and now they are in my little pen thing i think that looks really really nice 
And now I just take the leads off all of them. We're getting all the leads because I need those. There we go. All of the llamas are now in the area. So let me just fly by real quick. We have the nice mountain of leaves. If we fly by right here. You can see all of the llamas. Hopefully they don't escape or find a way how to. But that looks very, very, very good. I'm happy with it. I wish it snowed so I could see how it looked then. But I don't think they could even leave. So now they have their own little area. I'm pretty sure they could fit in here. But that is how it looks. I think it is very... They are all huddled up in one area. Why are you guys... Is it because... Is it because there's there's hay there? There's hay right here. You guys got to split up. Come on. You just don't just all huddle up in one area. It doesn't look nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. I think it was really good. No time lapse this episode. But I think I want to change it up every once in a while. So get ready for next episode. Get ready for next episode because it is going to be good. Hopefully. Why? What did, stupid llama. Hopefully you guys enjoy and see you guys next time. Good. Bye.